Hey, welcome to Sing and Cook. My name is Chef Harpal Singh Soki, and you're watching me cook delicious recipes. Now, in the season of Holi, which comes in March in India, the festival of colors, we celebrate with a lot of pomp and show, water colors and spraying of colors on each other. At the same time, there's a group of ladies in the kitchen. They keep cooking delicious meals. It's, it's fun, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a festive recipe for you, which could be used for Holi, Diwali, or anything, especially in Holi. I'm doing baked beetroot chakli. Now, these are round twirls uh, of rice flour and gram flour seasoned with spices. They're generally fried or baked. So I'm doing a baked version for you. Beetroot one is very, very interesting. Just note down the recipe. So what we need is measure, okay? One and a half cup of rice flour. This is going into this. One fourth cup of gram flour going into this. There you go. Three fourth cups of beetroot puree, which is what I've taken into this. Sesame. There you go. Sesame seeds, salt to taste, red chili powder. Ah, this asafoetida is very good. And butter, about two tablespoons. So as you note down everything, I'm going to make a little stiff dough. Now I'm not going to add water at this point of time. I'm going to first mix up everything. I put my oven to preheat. So if required, we'll add water, very little, to make a stiff dough. The dough is not very hard, is not very soft also. I will just add a little bit of oil. You know, twirls, the rice flour twirls, chakli, this mixture of mine. So it's not, it shouldn't be actually very hard also because then you will not get a perfect round and you need to keep kneading every time. So it should be enough that you didn't put too much. It should be soft enough that you don't put too much pressure and as you rotate around, it should not break. So that's it. Yeah, this one gets over. Let me put this in the oven and I've got my oven preheated already at 180 magic temperature. Roughly for about 18 to 20 minutes is what they should get cooked in. Okay. And if required, you can cook further. Depends on the oven temperatures each one has, but it should become nice and crisp. The chakli actually in the oven takes about 35 minutes. As you put it in the oven, put 35 minutes timer and then check and you need to check at 180 degrees. Gets ready in 35 minutes. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful, nice and crisp, beautiful. And this is non-fried. Yes, there's some butter in it, but it's better than that complete fried one. Beetroot for health and chakli for this festive season, just for you.